Hello fellow Greasy Garage Dwellers. It's me Chuck. This is Up Chuck Chops. Thanks for joining me. I kind of just wanted to chill, listen to some tunes, and uh, work on the bike tonight. It's late in the PMs. I kind of wanted to show this. It's a pretty neat little gearbox. It's uh, high low range. So, total of 10 different gear ratios. Uh, five speed transmission. The high low gearbox makes 10. That's that's math. I'm not good at it, but I can do that one either. The uh, climber manual over there says it's the low range is for twisties, climbing, and I'm paraphrasing. And then, and low range is also for uh, we really want to be able to get on it. And then the high range is for lower RPMs, highway cruising, kind of an overdrive kind of deal. But we need fresh oil in this so that's what we're gonna do today let's get to work look at me doing pre-video prep I'm not as good as the the works or mr. Weems but uh, I do have my tools and my oil and my drain pan and funnel ready I'm getting better at life I will not jinx myself by saying this should be an easy task I don't know I've never done it before I did cheat and break these screws loose I do not know if I will be able to find any at the hardware store to replace them, but I would like to because the heads are a little boogered up. Well, there it goes. That's a little yucky. I believe the service interval is every 24,000 miles we're right there at it Let me get my drain pan underneath and you're supposed to let this warm up but uh, I'm not going to smoke my garage out to do the warm up so we're going to do it now kind of my mission is to get this road ready as quickly as possible is never attainable there's always a little bit quicker you could have been I will be surprised because this was not very tight if most of this hasn't leaked out already it doesn't smell too funky That little bolt's a 10 mil. Uh, that level check is not a 10 mil. I don't have to dig it out. There's supposed to be 600 milliliters ish in there. There is not 600 mil milliliters in there. There wasn't much of nothing in there, so I'm really glad I didn't try to ride this thing when uh, it fired off. It was low. Am I a detective? No. Can I deduce things? Yes. Let's see if I can get a clean finger under there and take a look at that. There's a little bit of dirt in there. But uh, I don't know what terrible on this particular ordeal would look like. So. I'm going to get my socket, put my drain plug back in, and we're going to fill her up now. That's 12 mil. You know why I use a quarter inch drive and a tiny ratchet? So I don't break things that shouldn't be broken. I'm probably also supposed to be on the center stand when I check this fluid level. But if I know 600 cc's is what goes in, then uh, I should be able to add that much and be pretty good. Alright, drain plugs back in. I'm going to snug it up.
I bought a six pack of this on Amazon for thirty three dollars and change. Um, this calls for eighty or ninety, and the rear diff calls for eighty or ninety. I did a little research. I think this should be okay -ish for both. I'm not terribly worried about it. And that funnel's almost too big. It even came with this neat little spout. I don't know that I need the spout since I have the funnel. This is eight fluid ounces, 236 milliliters. Here goes one. Math says 36 and 36 is 72. So if I put two in, that's 472. That leaves me uh, 118 milliliters left, maybe. After my second model, I mean, there's one, 236. I might keep keep a couple of these bottles. They might come in handy with this little spout there that fits it. Ah, murdered that seed. Nope. Oh. Yep, I should have been on the side stand. See that? Or the center stand, excuse me. We're puking out. I'm hesitating. I'm going to... I want to check the manual one more time and make sure it was 600 milliliters. After a double check, discount double check, sponsor me Allstate. I'm kidding, I hate insurance companies. I work for one. I'll leave them unnamed this time. I don't hate insurance companies. I hated working for one. They have, you know, they're necessary evil. Like I said, I'm not good at math, but uh... I used my pocket calculator and I need 128 more milliliters. So I get my little Amazon measuring cup here. Fill it all the way to 100. Hold it level. There it is. Yeah, I didn't have near that come out. That'll probably dry out of the pan. And now I need, uh, I know there's a little residue in there. Where'd my number markings go? Okay, that one right there at the bottom, that's the 20. So that's where I'm going to go to. I don't think 8 milliliters is going to make a difference. Should have been a doctor. Talk about milliliters and stuff. There it is. All done. Cleaned up. I just got to put my cover back on. Front row. Okay, that's no big deal. But, uh, put my cover on, and we're pretty well set. Snug.
Snug. Snug. Double check the drain. Snug. So there you have it. We have changed the fluid in our high low low range gear selector. Put the 600 milliliters in. About uh, oh, 50 dribbled out. So uh, that should make it happier. I hope. I don't see any leaks right now. If you've uh, watched for this long, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed hanging out with me. Give me a like if you thought this video was kind of cool. Uh, leave me a comment if you have time. I always appreciate those. And uh, check out my other stuff. And if you like what I'm doing, what I got going on, subscribe. Yeah, it's just me wrenching in my garage, working on old bikes, and uh, trying to learn something, and hoping somebody else learns something along with me. Keep wrenching.